Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are still on the quest to try and sort this car out for Ford Fair. So today what we're gonna do is remove the front grill, uh, front lower grill. Currently has a Zunsport uh, on it. Um, what we're gonna have to do is get the grill out. We're gonna have to sand it down. Um, it's really the outer edge um, that looks pretty bad. It's taken a battering. Um, so we're gonna take the Zunsport off. We're going to give it a sand and we're going to um, primer and spray gloss back um, and try and get this back on the car tomorrow, um, hopefully, because it's been chucking it down all day. So let's crack on right now and let's get that off. Oh, and yeah, guys, um, I've got something uh, new um, that I'm going to try. Uh, it's quite exciting. Uh, for me anyway, um, hopefully it's going to work and you guys will like it. Um, I won't tell you what that is right now. You're going to have to watch the rest of the video to find out what I'm going to do. Okay, so here we are again. Uh, removal of the lower grill on a Mark II. It is a pain in the uh, backside. Um, as you can see... This edge has taken a real battery and all the paint's chipped off. Um, and to be fair, this lower part, I mean, I've done this a couple of times now, so it hasn't really, it didn't really take that well. Um, so we're going to try our best to get this really nice. Um, so we're going to take this off. Um, the best way to remove this is to go from one edge get a screwdriver a small screwdriver into this edge here prise it up and then pull and the clips are all the way along now you've got to be so careful because you can end up breaking the clips um, this is the original one from the car so we're talking this is a number of years old now um, they are quite brittle um, and i've had to use um, tape um, over the edge to hold them together and then pop in so it does work using a bit of tape but uh, let's try and get this off now okay so got that off it wasn't too difficult um, you know what I do love it without a grill on at all to be fair but uh, the intercooler just get wrecked so we're going to as oh yeah look so what i've done is i put um electrical tape around um which helps so if you do have a broken clip use some uh, electrical tape these are getting a little bit fragile along here now um and this one down here is broken so and that tapes nothing left in here yeah, so still got a bit of tape in there and on this one. Put some on this one as well. So, but yeah, definitely if you've got a broken one, use a bit of electrical tape. Or if um, one's really fragile, like this one's really fragile, use a bit of tape. It's worth a little trick. Um, so now that's off, what we're going to do, I think actually, I'm going to remove this as well. Um, this has got a little bit of chipping on here. Um, although the badge is going to go back on, so that will cover that. Um, but this has seen better days, so I might, yeah, just down here, look, actually. I'm tempted to take this off as well while I've got the opportunity to get this off, get it in the house, and also get this done at the same time. So, yeah, let's get that removed. Oh, yeah, while I'm at it, we're going to take the uh, fog light surrounds off as well. Um, so, let's, let's get those done. Right, so I've just taken the... Uh, tabs out um, we're going to remove this what I might actually do is not today but take these and get these repainted um, due to the heat of the engine there's a bit of been a cracking around here on this one um, so I might redo these if we've got enough time I'm running out of time but uh, this looks in pretty good shape so we could probably we could probably give that a lacquer but anyway, um, we're going to try and get this out now. But while I'm here, I just thought I'd show you. Um, that's where I mounted the um, one of the underglows, uh, which lights the grill up quite nicely. 
um, I might consider moving that down lower and um, putting it down here so it lights the front of the car up so we'll see we might move that when I come back um, but for now let's get this off I'm not going to show you how to get this off because I've shown you before um, so let's just get this off and get back right so all the bits are off the car that I need I do like the look when it's like that um, but grill off lower and upper we're going to take those in now and get uh, sprayed I've just done the most stupidest thing um, when taking the fog light surrounds off I wonder if you can spot the difference oops um, I ended up mistakenly cutting a wire um, so I'm going to have to replace uh, the um, the fog light uh, LEDs or halo which is rather annoying but there you go um, so we're going to uh, take this in now and let's get going right let's give the Zun Sport a bath or the uh, the lower grill it's in a bad shape so let's get this done cleaned up and get cracking right let's get this out let's get this dry and let's get sanding and hopefully the weather will hold off or we're never going to get this done right guys so i've just done the four screws at the front and so now we've just got to unhook the tabs in fact i think this one's not even in um that one doesn't even look like it's on either no. uh, so those two have been mainly holding it in with the four screws uh, so that one and the other one so we're just going to clip those out now get the uh, Zun Sport off and then get to this I've given it a wash as you've just seen so we're going to try and sand it down and get this ready but it's absolutely chucking it down outside so I don't know what we're going to do right that's out and let's move on to this in a really bad and horrible state um, it's even worse than I, than I thought to be fair but right let's crack on um, I think the best we're going to be able to do is get it sanded and um, hope this weather to just stop raining um, or this isn't going to go back on so right everybody I'm finally in a position to start the primer um, I've done quite a bit of sanding down um, and I've got it to where really I'm more than happy to start so let's get the primer done we've got the uh, top ready as well so let's get this done right everybody I've hit that with a couple of coats now So we're going to let that dry and then we're going to do a wet sand or a light sand and then we might give it one last coat and then start glossing probably gloss tomorrow it's a little bit late now so right everybody welcome back we are now going to blast this with uh, gloss we've given it a sanding and hopefully we can uh, again sort out some of these imperfections but we're about to gloss this okay so i've got the lower grill in the best possible condition i can get it in really i mean i'd like to spend more time but the weather's closing in so i need to get this done um so we're just going to rock and roll with what we have and let's get the first coat of gloss on well, I'm not going to bore you too much, but that is its final coat, and then we're going to lacquer this. Um, I think that's good to go. Now let's get the lower grill sorted. Right, I'm really, really happy with that. That's turned out really well. Really good shine on it. 
looks really good and then as I say I've done the slam panel it's come out really well and then we've just kind of finished off with the badge surround which looks pretty good and the fog lights or fog lights around they're not too bad as well so let's just bring down the um, the main piece and uh, let's get this finished off right everybody I think we just made it it's starting to chuck it down I managed to get this looking pretty good I love that grey um, the other bits are done and the grill top grill is looking wicked um, the lower grill not so great but uh, I'll show you that in a moment right everybody so um, we finished the gloss in and um, I'm going to shoot the Halfords in a moment and go and get some um, lacquer so we can just finish this off I've uh, done the badge surround and we're just finishing off the fog light surrounds this is my new idea what we're going to do is we're going to use an LED strip and we're going to mount it in here now this shape is very much like the Mustang um, and after watching a, a throttle video installation um, they put these in a Mustang now or there's a pre made unit that goes for the Mustang so what I thought I'd do is utilize some LED strips we're going to cut these down and mount them in here we're going to drill a hole through here for the wire and then we'll run that up and um, we're going to um, mount those into uh, the under headlights uh, LED strips so everything will turn on at the same time so let's go so I've just drilled a hole and then that black wire will go through here and uh, we'll cut these down and make these to size right guys this is the uh, top grill it doesn't look too bad I'm a little bit disappointed uh, we caught the rain unfortunately um, but it is what it is it's the outer edge which you know obviously is the main the main on show and that doesn't look too bad right so let's uh we'll wait for this to dry and then we're going to try and crack on with the new idea right everybody this is kind of the uh, idea i've got so we're going to sort of mount it in this kind of way we're going to use some um picture wire just to hold it in each place so uh we'll have to drill a couple of tiny holes either side just to hold that into place but we're going to have to cut this down. Now we've got to be really careful because they're normally in twos or threes. So we're going to cut relatively high and then just work out where we need to be. Um, we're going to have to take the cap off the end uh, over here and then we put that back on to keep it watertight. Um, so we're going to cut up here somewhere. But that's kind of the idea. Right guys, uh, we're going to attempt this. Um, it might not work. So what we've done is we've drilled a couple of small holes either side on a couple of down here so far we we'll continue it up um, I'm going to use some uh, picture wire I'm going to feed that through the hole and then uh, wrap it round and see if we can just fix this in position so let's get this first one done so basically I've just made a little uh, I've cut two two ends just made a little hoop and that's going to push in there I'm just going to do that up at the back, see if that holds. Uh, yeah, so let's just go from the other side. I've got to be really careful because it's wet and I just left a fingerprint. Bloody hell. But I'm running out of time. Okay, slowly getting there. So we've got the picture wire, just holding it in place. And then we're just going to feed the last two in I'll bend it around just so you can see if it will go 
one hand something like that is the idea so let's just get this this finished off and see how it looks but to show you from this side so what I'm doing is I've just poked through the, the wire and then we're just twisting it together just to hold it in Right guys, one done, one to go. I'm not sure if this is going to be an absolute pile of poo, um, but I guess the principle's there. We'll soon see. Um, and whether the actual grill will go over the top. Again, it's all a bit trial and error, but um, yeah, hopefully it will work. Right done so potentially if this works out we could have some LED strip lighting inside the zone grill that would look pretty good as long as it all works okay I've test I did test it but um, we'll see what happens now Right everyone, I've just stepped outside just to give you a better idea of what I've just done. A little bit more light out here. So, fingers crossed, we'll get the Zun Sport grill on top. Um, the holes are just okay, just to the side and on the other side. We should be okay. These are sitting flush with here, and obviously that sits on top. So um, I'm just tempted to keep to leave it a little bit longer. This is where these marks. I obviously put the uh, Dunsport on too early last time, and it made the uh, the marks. But I guess you don't see those. But I do need to get this back on the car. So uh, tempted to do it now. Let's see. Right guys, we're back on. Doesn't look too bad actually, a little bit squished on this side on the light, so it could cause a bit of an issue. Might not look as great on this side. And just where it's nicked the corner, going back in, really annoying. As I say, I should have really left it longer, but I just haven't got the time. I need to get it back on. Um, so we're going to go and attempt to do that now. Right guys, back at the car. Um, I've just moved the LED strip wire below. So it uh, should give the light in the grill now rather than being higher up. And now we're going to fit the, um, the Sun Sport. We're going to wire, attempt to wire up tonight, but it's getting late and it looks like it's about to rain. So. I'm going to get these on. I've removed the fog light on this side because I damaged this one. Um, so we'll replace those at another time. The wiring is still in place. So we just need to. The good thing about those is it's just literally plug and play. So all I've got to do is plug it in and put them in. So easy peasy. Um, so let's get this on. Right guys, sun's brought in, and you know what, that looks alright, looks different, and I like to be different, and uh, so we're going to wind these up if we can. Right guys, I've just wired everything up, um, so utilising the under headlight LEDs so I've wired it this into that um, I haven't completely taped it up yet I've just connected it 
So let's go and see if this was all worth it. Right, the moment of truth. Oh, what do we reckon, guys? You know what, that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> oh, mate, I'm quite impressed. Let's get the other one on and call it a day. Right, oh, I've just wired the last one up. Let's just see if this is going to work. I'm absolutely shattered. Oh, please make it work. No, what's happened? Right, something wrong with this side. Okay guys, I don't flipping believe it. So I tested both LEDs and this one's only half lighting up. Um, I've got no more energy left, so what a fucking nightmare. Um, I'll have to look at it during the week. Real shame. But, almost there. That's right, everybody. Something different. This one has failed. Um, it was tested. I'm not quite sure why that's happened. So we'll get that replaced before Ford Fair. But something different for you guys. Hopefully you like it. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Let me know your thoughts and your comments. But we're going to call it a night. But we're going to uh, get that replaced and um, have it all ready. Okay, everybody, I'm going to uh, just show you in the dark. Uh, didn't quite work, as you saw. Um, that side unfortunately failed but it's kind of I was trying something different um, but there you go but these are super bright um, maybe I can make it work probably not in time for Ford Fair now but uh, so we'll just turn them off um, and leave the uh, under headlights running but you know the thought was there try something different um, but there you go so signing out guys bit of a failure but uh, there you go